Hello and welcome back to our series about rocket launchers. I'm Dragon Drop. I'm King Argon. And I'm Strummy. King Argon here has once again been infiltrating the NC and the VS. Our camera operator has been Overwatch and Brainless26 also helped us out in this video. We are all from the AOTR, the Army of the Republic. If you want to find us, you can do so on terran-republic.com. Today we are bringing you the M9 Scab Launcher and the ASP-30 Grounder. Both have a damage output of 1500, so a little less than the ML7 that we tested last time. You can carry up to 5 rockets and a special thing about these launchers are their lock-on capabilities. The Scab can lock on to ground vehicles and the Grounder can lock on and take out air vehicles. Both still have dumbfire mode, however, when you actually lock on to something, the rocket will travel significantly faster, as you will see in this clip. So keep that in mind when fighting with these launchers. Now let's look at how they perform against the vehicles they are designed to fight. Now we test the M9 Scap launcher against the front armor of the Mech Rider. Next is going to kill me. Alright, as you can see, five rockets doesn't set it on fire, however, the sixth rocket will definitely kill the Mag Rider. Next we are going for the side armor of the Mag Rider. Next is going to kill me. So, five M9 scap launcher rockets to the side of the Mac Rider sets it on fire. Dix killed it. Let's take a look at the front armor of the Vanguard. Six rockets? Yeah, next is going to kill me. Yeah, looks like it. So, seven rockets from the scap launcher it kills the Vanguard if you hit the, all of them in the front. Next, we are going to test the sidearm of the Vanguard. Next is going to kill me. Yep. Uh, six rockets to the side set the Vanguard on fire. The seventh definitely also kills it from the side. Our last test for the Vanguard will be its rear armor. By the way. Two sets it on fire. Three kills it outright. Let's test the scab launcher against the lightning now. We are starting with the front armor. Next is going to kill me. Yeah. Four rockets to the front, sets it on fire, five definitely takes it out. Let's take a look at the side armor of the lightning next. Next is going to kill me. As you can see, three rockets to the side of the lightning doesn't set on fire, but the fourth rocket also kills the lightning. Now we're going to test the rear armor of the lightning. And 
and two rockets blows it up quite effectively. Dragon Drop here is now going to uh, is now going to demonstrate the M9 scap launcher on the Sunder, and as you all know by now, the Sunder doesn't have different more values on the sides, so it's all the same. Go ahead, Dragon. So as you can see, it takes 5 rockets from the M9 scap launcher to kill a Sunderer. Ok, now it's time to test the grounder on a scythe. As you can see, 2 rockets makes it burn, but to completely kill it off, you need a third. Ok, now it's time to test the ASP grounder on a Reaver. And as you can see, two shots may make makes it go on fire, and the third shot is gonna kill it. We are now gonna test the uh, ASP-30 grounder on the Liberator. And as you can see, some rockets makes it start burning. And but to be completely sure, you need to put an eighth rocket into it, like that. Okay, guys, let's try out the grounder on a galaxy. Going to take forever. Rockets. How many rockets was that? 15. 15. As you can see, 15 rockets to make it burn, and 16 to kill it. If you watched our ML7 video, you will have noticed that it actually takes one rocket less with the scab to kill a Sunra, despite the ML7 having more raw damage. We are not quite sure if it's a bug or if it's intentional. We certainly didn't expect that result when we started preparing for this video. Aside from that, we found that it doesn't matter what launcher you use if you hit tanks in the rear armor. On any other side, it usually takes one rocket more to finish it off. Aircraft are another story. It takes twice the amount of lock-on rockets to destroy anything flying, which means that it is advisable to team up with others to effectively deter and destroy enemy aircraft. Thanks for watching and see you next time when we take a look at the NS Decimator.